Hey there guys, this is Kenneth Bolito from the Tech Guide, and today I want to show you guys how to jailbreak your second generation iPod Touch with the 3.1.2 firmware upgrade. Now before we start, I want you guys to go download the two links that I have for you in the sidebar. These two links are an iPod Touch second generation 3.1.2 firmware, and the second link is Black Rain, which is what will help us jailbreak your iPod. Now, the fr I just want to tell you guys that this will involve you restoring. Uh, actually, it requires you to back up and restore. That way, you know, you could get your info back that you had on your iPod before you restored it, of course. So, uh, yeah, I want you guys to back up first all of your information on your iPod, and then I want you guys to restore it with the 3.1.2 firmware which you downloaded from my sidebar. Okay, so the first real step now is once everything is downloaded, the Black Rain and the iPod firmware, once that is done, I want you guys to go into iTunes and I want you guys to restore with the 3.1.2 firmware upgrade. In order to do this, you have to, on a Mac, by the way, this tutorial is solely for Mac users. Windows users can probably do the same process, but I am not liable for any mistakes that you make. Um, and by the way, I cannot answer your questions also because I do not know how to jailbreak on a Windows computer. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, I want you guys to option click restore, and this by the way is on your iPod touch menu. Uh, so go option click on restore and then a little window will come up asking you for a firmware file and that file is the one that you downloaded from the sidebar and that should be the iPod 213127d11restore.ipsw and that's the one that I want uh, ignore this custom, uh, custom restore because that is one that I had from a, tr a previous attempt at a jailbreak which did not go so well so ignore that uh, just go pick the firmware that you downloaded and once that's done you choose it and then iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iPhone 3.1.2 software and will verify the restore with Apple and you click restore and this will take a little bit and once that's done we could go straight into the jailbreaking which is trust me guys probably one of the easiest jailbreaks you can ever do like it's really really easy so yeah I'll probably cut the video now and I will get back to you in about one second okay so my iPod finally was done restoring and everything and now the next thing that I want you guys to do is I want you guys to quit iTunes that's right quit iTunes don't even uh, restore the profiles on your iPod touch yet don't even touch the iPod touch yet uh, next thing I want you to do is open up black rain and this is probably the easiest step now this little window will open up and then it'll say uh, make it rain now this is actually a button so of course with buttons what do we do with buttons we actually click buttons so uh, let's go click the button and we'll make it rain and then your iPod touch will enter into recovery and then boom <laughs> and then your iPod's jailbroken so as you can see this is not a bad jailbreak at all not a bad jailbreak this is actually I believe easier than doing the uh, do you call it the Ponage tool because uh, I actually got this one to work the Ponage tool unfortunately was not working for me there's there was a few errors I believe it's the Apple error 1064 I think that's the issue that everybody's having and it seems that the black rain uh, you know procedure worked better so black rain is definitely the way to go for this firmware okay now your next step is to go to your iPod touch 
and what you want to do is you want to go to the Black Rain app. Now this Im this is very important, all right? This is very important. First of all, um I don't have it on right now. You need to go turn on your Wi-Fi. And that is definitely a must. So what you want to do is you want to go into settings and go look for your Wi-Fi and I will do that. But uh mine has a uh, WPA code on it so I will just put that on really quick okay and then we join the ball network now your next step again to go back to black rain and then what you want to do is you want to install any one of these three now note that you have the option to install all three but you don't want to do this and the reason for that is because all of your apps won't work all of your jailbreak apps won't work so what you want to do is you want to install only one of them and then install rock or IC from Cydia um, that way all of your apps will work but you should not download uh, all of them straight from black rain install each of them one at a time from Cydia uh, or from whatever let's say you get rock uh, you could get Cydia and Icy uh, from rock and that way uh, your jailbreak apps does not get affected and there we go just go unlock and as you can see Cydia is installed and from Cydia you can I guess install IC and Rock as well as uh, any other jailbreak apps that you want to get uh, so that's really the how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd gen and I'd like to thank you guys for watching and uh, of course as always please subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys later